Prof Day and welcome to another episode of the Brew Quest. Today's style is going to be the American Barley Wine with Bigfoot by Sierra Nevada as the style example. Now I've had a barley wine before, it was a Meekler, McKellar, I forget how, how you pronounce that brewery's name, and it was like a chocolate barley wine, I think it was a collab with Horace Aged Ales, and it was pretty good, really strong. I think I drank a 16 ounce can, and I was pretty tipsy. I forgot the ABV on it though. It was high. But this is my second barley wine and my second beer from Sierra Nevada. And I'm actually quite excited. So Sierra Nevada is out of Chico, California. And this is a 9.6 ABV beer. And yep, it's gonna be kind of crazy. I think Bigfoot is actually brewed every year. And this one has a year on the top, 2019. And this was packaged on uh, February 7th. Now I've heard that you can actually cellar this beer and I think it might get better with age. I think it rounds out that uh, alcohol flavor, which I'm kind of um, I'm kind of expecting from this beer. So I'm kind of expecting a high, like an alcohol type flavor. And I'm kind of ex uh, expecting hops. The back of this bottle also has a nice little description. Bigfoot is a beast of a beer, brimming with bold, bittersweet malt flavor and heaps of whole cone Pacific Northwest hops. First introduced in 1983, Bigfoot is a cult classic prized by beer collectors. Drink it fresh or cellar it in a cool, dark place to taste as the flavors develop over time. So that's pretty cool. It actually says on the label that you can actually sell this. Besides Sierra Nevada's description on the back of this beer, let's look at the BJCP description and history for the American barley wine. History, usually the strongest ale offered by a brewery, often associated with the winter or holiday season and vintage dated, as with many American craft beer styles derived from English examples, but using American ingredients and featuring a much more hop forward profile. One of the first American craft beer versions was Anchor Old Foghorn, first brewed in 1975. Sierra Nevada Bigfoot, first brewed in 1983, set the standard for the hop forward style of today. The story goes that when Sierra Nevada first sent Bigfoot out for lab analysis, the lab called and said, your barley wine is too bitter. To which Sierra Nevada replied, thank you. So that's pretty cool. BJCP has a nice little history part and features uh, Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot. I'm expecting some bitterness, some hoppiness, and expecting a high alcohol flavor. And I hope it tastes Pretty good. I don't think there's any adjuncts in this and it's gonna be straightforward, uh, but it looks like a pretty good beer. So let's pour this out, let's taste it, and I'll see you right after this. That was a great pour. The beer came out pretty, pretty good. Not a lot of head, maybe half a finger's worth of head. Uh, looks pretty good. Nice light brown color in the bubbles, not white. Uh, the color on this beer is like a reddish brown, kind of dark and kind of clear, but yeah, when I put it up to the light, you can actually see right through it, but it's not like perfectly clear, a little bit of Haze. I don't know if that's from the if that's chill haze or not. So let's uh, smell this beer. I'm getting a little bit of hops. I'm getting like a, a sw I'm getting a little alcohol vibe from it as well. Getting a little bit of malt, but that alcohol is kind of coming through. It sort of reminds me of that um, Imperial Brown Ale I had, that short fuse pecan pie. It's almost the same like as far as the alcohol intensity I'm getting on the nose Well, let's hope it's I know it's 9.6% uh, and it's gonna be a little boozy 
Hopefully it tastes better. Cheers. Wow. Okay. First impression is that this beer is a lot thicker than I thought it was going to be. I was going to think, I was thinking it would be like a little medium, a medium to thin thickness. No, it's like almost medium to very, like medium to thick. Like it's, uh, that body is pretty good. Kind of like it. Good texture, good mouthfeel. And it's just surprising is all, but like I kind of like it in this beer. Uh, second part is that you can really taste the malt on this and you can really taste the bitterness. It is not hoppy. Like, I don't know. I'm not sure if that's the word. I'm not sure if the bitterness I'm getting is reminding me of hops, but it's just bitter. Like, I guess because you don't have that strong hop aroma that I'm associating with that bitterness, like that nice floral, pine, uh, citrusy hop aroma that you usually get. But yeah, it's it's bitter. Slightly bitter on the first part, strong, stronger on the finish. And the alcohol is just okay. Not too strong, but you can definitely taste it. But I think the bitterness part is kind of overpowering it, so it's tamping it down a bit. But overall, not, this is a pretty good beer. So where does this rank? Um, right now I'm gonna tell you it is not in the top 10. But it still might be pretty okay. It might come out better. And the main thing I like about this beer is the strength. One, if I want to like drink a beer, it's just going to get me a little tipsy. Definitely drinking one of these. Belgian style pale, American amber ale, American pale ale, German pilsner, Maybach, Belgian style blonde, imperial stout. Hmm. I'm going to put this actually right behind the American IPA. I kind of, I like this more than the Saison, and I like this more than the Triple. I don't know if I like this more than the American IPA. I'll, I don't know. I think I like the aroma that comes off the IPAs more than I like the bitter that comes with the bitterness. At least there's something there that I can enjoy from that experience. It's the, the smell. This one, I get the bitterness. Although it's sort of tempered down with the other flavors like the malt and a little bit of the alcohol but it's still it's still kind of bitter yeah i think i'm gonna put this at number 20. yep this beer's gonna come in at number 20 the american barley wine uh not bad this style is kind of tastes a lot better with adjuncts to to be honest like i think that uh meekler mckeller barley one that I had before with that cacao and I'm not sure what else they added into it. it tasted a lot better than this and then I guess because this is just like a basic style that I can find I'm okay with that um, but this is still pretty good beer I like it I like it a lot it's just not something I could probably drink often if I want to drink something strong I'll drink one of these but as far as like daily drinker probably not going to be it. This will probably be like once every so often or maybe if I find a beer that I really want to try out that's a barley wine I'll pick it up but it's not bad I'll I'm not going to be like it's the worst uh, style out there uh, but it's definitely not something for me every day so it's not like an everyday uh, drink and so far that's kind of what I found out in the series like a lot of what I'm weighing uh, the beer styles that I'm weighting it against is whether or not I can drink it like every day. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button below. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers. I can definitely drink another bottle of this.